Hello everyone, my name is Chillog Charles and today we're going to go over how to create sound bars using audio link decals through Koyomi's Tune Shaders. Alright, first off, make sure that your avatar appears as you would like without the bars. Then head over to mesh that contains the material you would like. And there you go, it's right here. Go under special effects and make sure the audio link section is checked. Alright, go ahead and collapse that and head over to the main section and then go over to decals. Go ahead and click this checkbox and when you do you'll find that your whole avatar has turned white. Now if we were to add the sound bars now there might be a possibility that the bars will go to other parts of the avatar that you don't want. So what you can do is you can create a mask and, and make sure that only parts of the avatar will have will show the bars. Uh, I made one off screen, click and drag it in here, as you can see now only the part that will have the bars is white. Okay, so right now the decal is a white square. To create the bar, I mess with the scale and position values down here to fill what would be the bottom of the sound bars. So let's go ahead and do that. Can see I can making squishing the square down until it's a line then squish it down a little bit more until it's just this small part right here right now that we know where it is we can mess with the position until we can get it to the center center bottom okay all right oh. And let's scale it back until it fills up the bottom of the toast. There we go. Since I'm creating four bars, I'm actually going to go ahead and divide the X scale by four. So 60 divided by four. All right, so that is 15. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And we move this in position to the left. Once I have it set to the bottom and in the right position, go ahead and mess with the scales, with the height scale, until it fills up all of where the bar should be. Make sure to copy this value and then head over to the audio link section. Set the scale band to your desired frequency range. I picked bass and then head over to the scale mod section. The X and Y values correspond to the minimum uh, width and height, and the Z and W correspond to the maximum width and height scales. Since all we're gonna be doing is concerning ourselves with the height, go ahead and copy this 1.25 value over to W. Now, there are two things to keep in mind. Remember that the uh, scaling of a decal is being done from the center of the decal. So positioning this decal is very important. The other thing to note is that these scale mod values, they only add to the default. So if we want this, uh, if we want this to work properly, make sure to set the initial scale to zero. And with that, this bar is audio linked. There are some cosmetic sections within this decal, so go ahead and customize it as you'd like. Uh, let's go ahead and expand this real quick so we can see it. Uh, for me, since this is the base, I usually set this to red. Uh, give it a little bit of an emission. And then under the blend section, blending section, I set this to multiply so you can still see the toast. Okay, so to make the rest of your bars, you can copy the values from your first decal 
and pasting them to the other three using these this three bar section in the header of the first decal. So just go ahead and click that, hit copy, and you can go ahead and paste these in. And once you do, go into each of them, set the color that you want, set the emission strength, and reposition them as you see fit. I've already done it for the other three decals here. And once you've done that, the these bars should look nice on this audio linked avatar. So let's just go ahead and quickly test it. There you go. I hope you found this tutorial useful and I'll see you guys later.